Hello, is it Dr. Walford? It is, yes. Dr. Hi, nice Mark. to meet you. Please call me Mark. Hi, Mark. I'm Dr. Wakara, one of the training GPs. Lovely to meet you. So, well, how, how are you enjoying your place? Yeah, no, it's been, it, it's nice, yeah. Getting the right balance between home life and work? Yeah, absolutely. But, I mean, we're, today we're here to talk about you. That's yeah, okay. sure, sure. Um, <coughs> so it was to talk about your tramadol prescriptions. Yeah. Now, because I haven't met you before, is it all right if you kind of talk me through what made you go with the tramadol to begin with and what's been going on? Yeah, sure, by all means. Um, I, I've had this crawling back problem uh, for a number of years now. Okay. Uh, it's sort of one of the perils of being a GP is uh, so, so don't say I didn't want. Yeah. Um, and they didn't do those uh, ergonomic chairs in the 90s and yeah, uh, no, they the didn't. late 80s. So I uh, strongly recommend those for you. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I came along with one of my colleagues and um, initially prescribed um, some, some pain medication, which I've got to be honest, the uh, paracetamol and uh, uh, the ibuprofen didn't really have any impact. Okay. Uh, so physio, tried coding, got the constipation, mm. um, so then came on to the tramadol and okay. uh, that's been a bit of a life saver. Really. Yeah. Okay, and kind of just touching on your back pain a little bit more, yeah. did you have any further investigations or get sent to any specialists about it? Uh, yeah, I went, I went to the uh, to, to the MSK clinic, um, obviously they did all the investigations and mm. um, you know basically told me it's degenerative, so okay. uh, I know I'm getting older, as one of these things I have to live with. Sure. And, uh, you know, over the years, the number of uh, chairs I've sat in, I don't think that's helped. Sure, of course. And you mentioned the tramadol's worked really well for you. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's taken the pain away. Sure. Now, how much of that were you taking in a day or so? Um, well, I was prescribed uh, QDS, P uh, PRN, mm -hmm. um, so I'll, I'll take it as a when needed. Okay, so if you just kind of talk me through an average day, and exactly, because we know it's PRN, so as and when, so how yeah. much are you taking in a day? Um, <coughs> well, I'm, I'm probably taking... Uh, well, certainly over the last fortnight, more than the four a day. Okay. Um, but um, you know, I, I'm doing nine sessions. Yeah, nine sessions uh, is a lot. Nine sessions is tough. So the days nine. are long. It's yeah. a bit hard, and um, you know, I've found that um, the, the tramadol is me to get through the okay. Now you said you're taking a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Roughly, how much more? Um, around eightish, probably a day. Uh, but, but that's just over the last fortnight. Okay. Uh, so eightish. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think there may have been a couple of days when I took 10. Okay. Yeah. And you know that yourself, that that was probably a bit too much? Yeah, you're right, yeah, I've considered myself slapped on the hand. Um, okay. Yeah, it was just, you know, at, at the time, it was tough days. Um, mm, sure, so I can really appreciate nine, nine sessions is a lot. Well, I'm seeing something like 20 patients per session, so that's, that's tough as well as your telephone yeah. calls and all that, sure. you know, so uh, well, the NHS isn't yeah. getting any easier. Sure, now, going back to the tramadol, has that had any kind of effect on you with the side effects and things because we know it's quite a strong drug. Yeah, no, I don't think, I mean, I'm conscious that my mood's quite buoyant, you know, sometimes okay. I feel as if I'm floating, uh, okay. but that's actually been helpful uh, for quite a lot of uh, elderly patients and uh, as it. you know, they're quite sure. tough to deal yeah. with, so uh, it's giving me the patience. So it's it's helping your mood? Yeah, yeah. Has it had any other effects where it might have clouded your judgment at any point? Or I, I, don't, I don't believe so, I don't yeah. believe so, no, 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 I think I'd be conscious of that, so. Okay. No. And obviously it sounds like you've been struggling with things with the stress with my sessions and as well as the back pain. Have you mentioned any of this to, to your partners? Or um, not, re not really. I mean, to be honest, we've got one of the senior partners who's who sort of struggling himself. So that's right. one of the reasons why I took her so many sessions. Okay. So it's trying to keep that balance. I don't really want to create any additional stress. Um, okay. As you know, there's probably a lot of stress yeah. in the yeah, of Although that, all that might change after <laughs> the election. Well, we probably not, but you know. Well, okay. we, have our fingers crossed. Sure. And how about, have you discussed that with anybody at home? No, well, um, my wife's not, not, not too good. Um, okay. So she was di uh, diagnosed with uh, fibromyalgia. Um, right. and, uh, so she's got the IBS, she's got the exhaustion, so I don't really want to add to, to her stress. So okay. I'm not really sure. Uh, I think that's, I think that's, it's fair enough that like, you don't want to put the burden on it, but clearly, it sounds as if you might also be struggling a little bit with, with work. Yeah, well, I'm hoping that uh, we're going to get some new partners in okay. and that, that will ease the pressure. Um, although, having said that, where, where are the practices? Yeah. Is not yeah. ideal, so people are not banging our door down yeah. come to want to work with us. Now, had you had any thoughts as to what we might do today? 
Well, no, I just I just saw the, um, the note to come in and see the GP. Uh, I, you know, I'm conscious it might look as if I'm taking too much time mm -hmm. at all. Um, but one of the things I realised was that I was leaving the tablets in the in the surgery. So I thought, well, I need some in the car for when I'm going out on uh, home uh, visits. Okay, so, so you wanted to keep some in different yeah, places. Yes, so I've got some in different places. So so, so I realised that from a dosage point of view, it looks as if I'm probably taking too much. But you mentioned yourself that there have been days when you have taken too much. If I'm honest about it, um, yeah, you're right. Probably over the last last fortnight, it's been too tough over the last fortnight. Is there anything that's worrying you in particular about everything? Not, not really. I think it's just a matter of uh, you know uh, taking each day as it comes and getting getting through it. And have you thought about any ways in which we we might be able to help you? Well, I say the issue is it, it's me that's getting old. <laughs> um, and after 30 years sitting in various chairs over the years, sure. um, then uh, yeah, it's one of these things where I can't do anything about it, it's degenerative. Okay. Um, so really it's just about sort of hanging on until mm. retirement probably. Okay, and just to kind of double check, I'm sure you're aware of things like red flags that we always ask about sure, with back yeah. pain. Sure. Have you had any of these, like a weakness in the legs, any bowel or bladder problems? No, or no, 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 they've, they've, they've been fine. They've been okay. Yeah. And you know, sometimes if you're taking off tramadol, other things can impact is if you're having alcohol on a daily basis or any drugs. Drink very little. I mean, I, um, I probably have a drink with an evening meal. But okay. I mean, in a week, I'd be talking about no more than 10 units. Okay. Um, and any drug use? Less. No, no, no. Okay. No, no. The tramadol's sure. all I need. Sure. I mean, I hope you don't mind me asking you, but you just generally have no, to No, I ask appreciate people. you guys this thing. Yeah. I'm sure you've been thorough. I like that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Now, if I'm completely honest with you, I am a little bit concerned about the tramadol use. Right. <coughs> I know you mentioned yourself that it makes you feel a bit floaty yeah. and it helps your mood. Yeah, yeah. But we also know that with it being a controlled drug and yeah. being quite strong, that it can also cloud your judgment at times. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I honestly don't feel that my judgment's been clouded. Okay. You know, I think I'm experienced enough to know if that was happening. Um, but I am conscious that in terms of uh, the dosage that I've been taking over the last, certainly the last fortnight, yeah. it's been a, a tough fortnight. I mean, I think sure. we're through that now. Okay. Um, so I wouldn't be expecting to take the same level. Okay. I mean, if we're looking at the pain management as, as, a, as a separate issue, mm -hmm. we can definitely look into other ways of trying to help you because we know tramadol shouldn't be used as a long term. Yeah. yeah. And you have been using it for over six months now. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we could look at something like pain team. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not really sure what they can do, to be honest, to say with it being degenerative. Yeah. Um, I don't think, you know, I think I've looked at all the options okay. and, and there aren't any. So. I mean, we can have a chat about that at a later date, but I think, yeah. I mean, it sounds like today it's probably more important that we have a look at the tramadol and, and, and the amount of use of it, and it sounds like it may be... Yeah, so okay, 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 I consider my hand as being mm -hmm. slapped. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right, that uh, certainly over the last two weeks I've been taking more than I should. Sure. Um, and it sounds like you're well aware of that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think, I think I think maybe something like this is just a reminder, like, as you say, it's a control drug. Yeah. I have to be watching how much I'm taking. And from what you're telling me, it sounds like work is having a huge impact on, on stress and you may be using the tramadol to help. Well, nine, nine sessions, uh, as you yeah. will find, nine sessions mm -hmm. is tough. Yeah, um, and I think that's why most people probably don't do nine session down days, but you know, if you yeah, feel like you've had it's, to... Yeah, it's needs most at the moment with yeah. the sort of staff shortages, um, you know, I mean, you know, the yeah. problem, the funding problems we have within the NHS. So, uh, yeah, how about if we think about maybe actually giving you something like a sit note to actually give you some time and a break away from work? Well, I haven't said anything at work. I mean, I say that, that you know, there are enough stresses at work with no, trying to run the yeah. practice, but... Uh, it might be a conversation that needs to be had. Yeah, yeah. But if that, if, if kind of giving you that sit note gives you just a bit of a fire break away from work, Yeah. You might see if, if stress is better, you might need less of the tramadol. Yeah, yeah. But also looking at the tramadol as a, as a long term picture, yeah. there are some services specifically for doctors. Right. Um, there's a GP health program, there's a services for sick doctors and doctors that might be struggling with overuse of certain medica medications because we are humans. Yeah, I, I mean, I, as I say, I, I, I just think it's something that's happened over the last fortnight yeah. and, and it's been a particularly heavy time. I mean, we're now getting into the winter season when you know, the elderly people are coming yeah. down with all sorts of things. I know, so, uh, it's only going to get worse really, isn't it? But, yeah. but, you know, if I'm honest, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned for you. And I know you mentioned you've not made any mistakes right now, yeah. but that could easily happen tomorrow okay. or the day after. So I yeah, do no, think no, no, no. it's something we need to address, if it's okay. okay with you. Yeah, okay. Will that be something that you'd be willing to do? Yeah, yeah as I say, it's, it's one of these things where, um, 
you know, as, as I was driving to the surgery, I was suddenly conscious thinking, oh, well, why have they put that on the prescription? And I thought, well, maybe they think I'm over, overdosing. And uh, as I say, I'm not all I am yeah, conscious. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But, you know, it, it's something that, that it sounds like it's, it's, it's slowly become, a, become an issue, and we'd rather nip yeah. it in the bud now before it, it actually yeah. leads to patient harm. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I hear yeah. what you're saying. So if we do that sit note for a couple of weeks and get you to come back, okay. um, in the meantime I'll give you the numbers for the GP health programme and you can get in touch with them. They're actually a very good service. They're specifically for doctors and GPs and it's completely right. confidential okay. and non-judgmental. Well, so it was a worry you would Absolutely. Have my, my so it's completely right non-judgmental. Right. Uh, and the other thing that might be an idea is to actually have a chat with the BMA yourself and see what other ideas they might suggest. Yeah, okay. Maybe we can meet back in a couple of weeks and we can see what you found, but also it might just trigger you to have these conversations with work, yeah. and we can go from there. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 okay. Sound alright? Yeah, that's fine. Great, thanks very much. Thank you.